uh, welcome back everyone so in the last video we did the db connection configuration and we created a single model uh, so i just wanted to keep only one field here you can add another field somehow i removed it and just put a type allow null false okay so here i have a model with two fields so what you need to do now in a server.js first import the a model so this is how i'm importing the model because model has a db instance and what i can do is i just need to write uh, i mean i need to execute i need to do this execution so db.sqlize equalize dot sync this is actually a command and once that is done you can do your connection i mean we will be able to start our server once we are able to connect to the db we are able to sync our uh, database then we can do app dot relation and here it will be port this is a callback function we have just put connected okay so here what i'm doing i got the db instance i'm just doing a sqlize dot sync so what it will do it will read your db configuration and it will try to see if we need to create a table or not because we have defined already the model so if tables were not uh, are not there then it will try to create them So you can see here uh, we got some data here if table create table if doesn't exist then it has created two columns let's see in the database so people table is created if you see all the table this would be two field uh, id and name because uh, what, what happened right i created i updated the model right so now the migration stuff comes into the picture earlier there was uh, i have already executed this so there was only one single column so if you wanted to flush it and create it again because that will not be the production scenario but sometime you need to in the development you wanted to create a refresh copy of a db I'm doing it force creation. So now it should create it. It has dropped it, and then it is creating it. So you can see email field is now there. So this is how it works. I mean, the SQLize we connect to that, and then we are doing db SQLize dot sync. Uh, it is syncing. It is reading your model files and creating the the. So you need to you can define the associations. You will be doing the validations. Right now, I'm doing a basic validation here that uh, uh, that name should be of length one to hundred. That is a basic validation. We will we will see how we can write a model validations, and we will also see the documentation. 